class of 2023. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. whoop, whoop. Well done, well done. I had a, like a five-page speech, but I am between you and lunch, so I shall just squeeze it. But I'm so glad to be here. My very good friend, Mike Eldon, was the guest speaker. This is a very, very good friend of mine, if you didn't know. We are buddies, we visit each other. That's how much we are friends. And I'm so glad and excited. All protocols observed. Um, I'm delighted and privileged to be the one to represent the class of 2023. However, I was in the class of 2021. And we shall not explain how come now I'm in 2023. But the rest is history. I want to recognize Magdalene Karaoke, who's actually the president for 2023. And Lina Githuka in absentia, who is the president for 2021. The journey we've been through has been exhilarating. I think we've learned a lot from the faculty, people like Kellen, the experience of people like Mike, um, uh, people like Oduor, Martin Oduor, Marion Gadoga. We have learned a lot in this class. Then we went to the UK and met such amazing faculty there. We were taught things like the glass cliff, which we are all avoiding. We went and met the board of Standard Chartered and were able to see how governance can be done there. And we saw the similarities. And there was something very interesting that came out from the UK. And ladies, you need to listen to this. We talked about diversity. And we talked about diversity in a lot of detail. And you all know how much diversity is a buzzword here. But in the UK, prepare for this, menopause must be considered. You see, all the men looked up. How dare she talk about menopause? We shall now talk about menopause in the boardroom. We shall talk it about it because it's a season that ought to be recognized. Clap for that, ladies. So we learned about how to bring our full self in the boardroom so that we can bring our authentic selves. We don't leave anything behind. We learned how to balance our life. It's not about balance. It's about work-life integration, because as board directors, we need that. We learned how to lead our boards with governance and how to ensure that we bring all this onto the board and even into the home front. As I thought of what to say today, I was reminded, however, that we are a privileged lot. All of you people here are a privileged lot, and please hear me. You, contrib- you are the f- less than 5% of this country that have gone to college. And so you're so privileged, and that privilege comes at a price. It is very, very uh, blinding when you sit around this table, because everybody looks like this. They are all college graduates, they are all speak so well, but that's not a representation of our country. And so we are as weak as our weakest link. If there is a girl right now who has not gone to school, she will drag us down. If there is a young boy who is not going to school and is going to take care of sheep, he will drag us down. So we must lift each other. So today I challenge all of you, as I end my speech because I've really cut it, ask yourself, who am I lifting today? Who am I sponsoring so that they can lift higher? Because it doesn't matter how wonderful we look here, if we still have people who cannot make a difference in this country, we cannot succeed. Lift, lift others. Now, I am a bishop in my other life, and so I will leave you with the words of Proverbs 19.2. Enthusiasm without knowledge is not good. So it doesn't matter how much you are enthusiastic, we must increase in knowledge. Amen? Be blessed.